1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 till n is n with an exclamation mark, it's not n, it is called as n factorial. What is the smallest value of n such that n factorial is a multiple of 891? 891 is such a large number and I'm already worried. I'm going to, uh, all of these questions were especially questions that I don't understand the idea. I love breaking it down by saying, hey, let me write down a few numbers. 1 factorial is 1. 2 factorial is 1 into 2. 3 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3. 2 factorial into 3 is 6. 4 factorial is 3 factorial into 4. 24. 5 factorial, 24 into 5, 120. This is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 will take us here. 6 factorial is 120 into 6, 720. 7th, I'm not going to keep writing this, the numbers are becoming larger and larger. Right? So I can't, I can't verify this like this. I can say none of these numbers is the answer. 891 is more than this. I can also say 891 factorial. If I say 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 into 8 into 9 into all the way till 891, that number will definitely be a multiple of 891. 891 works. But 891 is a good n, but it may not be the smallest value of n. Maybe some other smaller factorial works and I can get to 891. Now I'm going to investigate this 891. 891 is not some random number. Let me see if I can factorize 891. How do I factorize 891? 891 is odd, so it's not a multiple of 2. 8 plus 9 plus 1 is 18, so the number is a multiple of 9. So I can divide this by 9. 89 goes 81 9 times. 81 9 times. I can divide this by 9. So 891 is 9 into 9 into 11, or 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 11. So 891 is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 11. So in my factorial, I should somehow get 3, 3, 3, 3, 11. If my number is a multiple of 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 11. Somehow I get that in n factorial, I'm through. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 is 81. So maybe 81 factorial will work. If I go till 81 factorial, 1 into 2 into 3, all the way till 81. Then this is 81 factorial. This number is definitely a multiple of 81. And along the way, in my journey, I would have crossed 11. This number has 11 in it and has an 81 in it. So this number will be a multiple of 81 into 11. This number will be a multiple of 891. N could be 81, but I'm still not sure. I feel like I'm, I've gone too high. Maybe I can accommodate it even smaller. Because 81 is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Maybe I don't need to go to 81. Suppose I write it as 1 into 2 into 3 into all the way 11 into 12 all the way to say 27. Hypothetically, 27 is 3 into 3 into 3, 3 cube. There is a 3 here. So this number will be a multiple of 3 power 4. It will have 4 3's in it. It definitely has 11 in it. This number will be a multiple of 3 power 4 into 11. I've got 18, 891. So I don't need to go till 81. I can achieve with 27. Maybe I can do even better. Now I know the method. I know that everywhere I pick up 3's into my product. I need to keep in mind. Every time I pick up 4 3's and 1 11, I'm through. So now I'm not going to do by trial and error. I'm going to think about where does my 3 come. So 1, 2, 3. This gives me a 3, 4, 5, 6, this gives me a 3, 7, 8, 9, this gives us a 3, 10, 11, 12, this gives us a 3, and 11. 12 factorial will work. 12 factorial will work because this gives us a 3, another 3, another 3, another 3, 4 3's, and 11. 12 factorial will be a multiple of 891. Am I missing something here? We are still missing something. Because this gives us a 3, this gives us a 3, this gives us two threes. So, hey, come to think about it, I don't even need that 12. I can stop at 11. Why? Because there's a 3 here, a 3 here, and two threes here. By the time I do 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 into 8 into 9, my number is a multiple of 81. 
81 has already been accounted for. I only need to get the 11. 11 is prime. 11 can come only from 11. But if I now multiply all numbers from 1 to 11, 3 and 6 give me 1, 1, 3. 9 gives me 2, 3s. So 3 into 6 and 9 is multiple of 81. And I get 11. 81 into 11 is 891. With 11 factorial, I have a winner. I don't have to even worry about going, looking for a smaller number than this. Because before 11 factorial, we simply cannot get 11. 11 is prime. 1 into 23 into 4 into 5 into 6 into till 10. How many ever times we multiply? 1 cube into 3 square into 5 power 7, whatever. You can never get it 11. 11 can come only if there is a 11, multiple of 11. So till 11 factorial, it's impossible to get 11. At 11 factorial, we get 11. And we get our 4 3's that we need. 3, 6 and 2 3's and 9. So 11 factorial is a multiple of 891. I, again, don't worry if you have not, you don't get questions right. If you get the idea and you say, okay, next one, something like this, I can have a crack at it. That is important. The takeaway is the idea of learning something from it, not, not getting anything right. Hush.